what up what up what up this is star stars empress wisdom aka the empress lives if you are new to the channel what's good if you're returning welcome back this is going to be a collective reading it can resonate for any sign anybody at any time energies can be vice versa so get in where you fit in you will know who you are specifically in the story if you are keeping it 100 this may or may not be your message if it is y'all know what to do like share subscribe all right but let's go ahead and see who uh, could be in your energy at this time all right, who could be coming towards you or wanting to come towards you in the next 48 hours here? Let's see. For the collective. All right, so some of you guys, it could be a Gemini. All right, I'm getting a Gemini could be all over the place here. I'm getting this person's mind could be jumbled or like all over the place, scattered. Okay, I'm getting somebody here is restless. Okay, somebody may want to fight. All right, um... I'm getting BD, so this could have to do with uh, somebody I'm hearing like, uh, that's yeah, my baby daddy, okay, so somebody uh, could be wanting to fight uh, about a baby daddy here, all right, I'm um, getting somebody could have uh, gave them the deuces, all right, um, but let's see, getting somebody here was, uh, was destined to be a poet, I feel like somebody's a prophet, a genius, so I'm getting like somebody here, I feel like, um, Somebody here could be destined to, uh, like, do spoken word or, uh, you know, be a lyricist, okay, or a, sp a lyrical speaker, all right? Um, I'm getting that this is supposed to lead this person to uh, paradise on earth here, all right? Um, but I'm getting that somebody could have been dealing with a two-time loser, okay? Or I'm getting, like, a two-timer, so I feel like somebody could have been, um, somebody could have cheated on somebody twice, okay? All right, um, I feel like... Uh, somebody cheated on somebody when they were with them the first time and then they could have split up and then when they got back together this person cheated again okay i feel like um they kept somebody in darkness in a relationship here all right um yeah i feel like somebody here um was very intelligent uh somebody's very bright but they were allowing themselves to uh stay in a situation here or go back towards a situation that ended up the same way somebody felt like a loser at the end of it and i feel like uh it's because somebody here was a two-timer all right was cheating all right um some of you guys could be dealing with the libra here Someone could be born in uh, September, all right? Um, I'm also getting spring water, so I'm getting some of you guys um, may need to drink spring water, or you may be drinking spring water or something like that. I'm also getting something in the spring, okay? Um, I feel someone here uh, could have been rude or something like that to someone here, to a Libra, okay, when they were um, younger, Okay, so I'm getting that maybe you knew this person when you were um, a, a teenager or something like that, but I'm getting somebody was rude since somebody was a teenager or um, since you've known them or something like that. Um, and I feel like this is why this person was rude because they were a two-timer, okay? Um, so I'm getting somebody was definitely rude towards another person here because they were cheating on them or whatever. All right, I'm getting this could have to do with the Capricorn, okay, or a Cancer. Someone could have uh, been born in uh, Germany, Okay, um, some of you guys, that's why you released a Virgo. All right, but let's see. Okay, I'm also getting uh, something surrounding like twins or a twin flame here. All right, um, I'm getting someone feels like they had to say bye to their twin, okay, or their twin flame. All right, I'm getting somebody here could um, have been in the military or could be in the military. Okay, so maybe somebody um, had to say bye to their twin flame in the military or something like that or when they went into the military. So I'm getting a twin flame dynamic could have separated due to someone being uh, in the military here. Okay, um, and um, what I'm also getting is somebody here could have uh, been like a musician and someone here could have been um, in the military or part of the government. OK, so I'm getting yeah a, a twin, uh, a twin flame pair here. Um, somebody's like a musician. OK, somebody's always on the road or on the go. All right. I'm getting this is somebody who's not no punk. OK, um, but and then I'm getting another individual who's attached to like the government. All right, so I'm getting like a, um, a military brat here. I'm also getting somebody here who um, likes to wear rags or someone who wears do rags or someone, a woman who wears like scarves on her head, a uh, scarf on her head or um, a bandana, okay? I'm getting somebody felt, uh, this person felt like they were tied in a situation here. 
All right, but I'm getting that they uh, they have released themselves from uh, something that could have been um, fatal for them. All right, um, but yeah, I'm getting a twin flame pair here. Okay, um, I feel like someone wants to fight because of this twin flame pair. Okay, yeah, it could be a Taurus and a Libra moon here. So I'm getting a Taurus uh, and a Libra moon here want to... Um, want to fight okay a, a Sagittarius as well they want to fight this um this twin flame pair okay or this uh Libra or this um this could be a Gemini energy here yeah I feel like somebody could be from the south or Mississippi I'm also getting a Capricorn so a Capricorn could want to fight okay because of this pair here a Leo could want to fight because of this pair here all right let's see so I'm getting that um a Libra moon could have came in between you and your person okay um uh as well as a aquarius a capricorn could have tried to come in between your union here a taurus okay another libra could have tried to come in between you and your person's union a gemini okay um a pisces someone from brooklyn so i'm getting a few people here try to uh come in between this uh this true pair here okay but i'm definitely getting like twins okay Okay, I'm also getting uh, twins could be um, leaving somewhere to a different country or something like that, or twins could be separating here. I feel like um, like if these are actual twins, like twin brothers or something like that, I feel like somebody here could uh, be going into the military and somebody could be choosing a music career or somebody here could... Um, leave the United States here okay so that's not going to resonate for everybody but yeah I'm getting somebody here is guided to travel the uh, travel the earth here I feel like one twin is uh is um you know not on tour or something like that because I feel like they're taking a back seat to um you know be a guide all right so I'm getting like uh, they could be a guide of some sort or doing Reiki or healing okay um yeah I feel like this this is a path that's not as abundant Okay, so I'm getting that uh, this person may not be profiting from this. Okay, so uh, I feel like a non-profit profit. So somebody's not getting paid for their uh, spiritual guidance here. All right, but they are prophesying. They are, um, you know, give, you know, guiding the earth here. And I'm getting this other Libra here. It could be more. Uh, or, okay, so it could be two Libras or, or um, could be two Libras here. But I'm getting um, another. Uh, see, I keep saying another Libra. So it could be two Libras. Uh, but somebody here is like um, like a politician, but not a politician. I feel like they're more like an activist, okay? They're more radical. I feel like this person is, um, you know, they're into politics or they're into um, government or they're into, uh, you know, study or discussing the police and, and things like that, all right? And I feel like this person... Um, it's meant to go against the system here, okay, or the systems that they were taught to break out of the matrix, all right, I'm getting the red or blue pill, so yeah, I feel like somebody, it's two, um, two twins here, all right, I'm also getting a uh, Dylan, okay, I'm also, ain't that a uh, Dylan Sprouse or something like that, ain't he off the sweet life of Zach and Cody? All right, that's off the Disney Channel, but yeah. Um, so this could have to, somebody doesn't want to, one of the twins don't want to be a star no more, or something like that. Okay, this could have to do something with a, a change due to their mother, or a change because of, of their mother, or something like that. All right. Um, yeah, I feel like um, someone has to. Uh, someone is being impatient here. Okay. But anyways, let's see. For the collective. I'm getting somebody here wants to drop a, a MC is a wants to drop a, a EP here. All right, I feel like uh, somebody could be uh, reaching out about this here or calling you about this, or somebody could be calling this person. All right, um, let's see. All right, advancement a strong energy is propelling you forward here. Follow the stirrings of your heart. 
all right um your external world is a reflection of your inner world so i'm definitely getting that as long as you guys are staying balanced within that helps to uh to keep you balanced within your uh your connection here okay so this could be a connection with a twin flame this could be a connection with a twin i'm getting that um you guys are uh destined to have your complete happiness here but i'm getting that um someone could be trying to um spiritually fight uh fight off your connection here somebody that you released a contract with here yeah i feel like somebody released a contract and i feel like um so somebody's trying to make them upset trying to make them unhappy okay at every step of the way yeah somebody wants to wants them to stay in a contract here but i'm getting somebody has released a trickster or a devil in their life and they're like they're moving forward they're advancing forward in their life here i feel like somebody is following an earth guide or um or following divine guidance here following wisdom yeah somebody sees the truth clearly about a contract here okay that they don't that they are not tied to this contract spiritually i'm getting yeah i feel like you uh, will be able to work something out here or somebody will be able to work something out here involving a contract but i'm getting that your spirit is not attached to this contract here um even though somebody keeps trying to threaten not ending a situation with you uh, due to a contract all right i feel like somebody here doesn't want to separate okay this could be a boss or this could be someone who knows you're destined to be a boss or be independent i feel like you are ending a situation here with somebody all right um and i feel like this could have to do with the ending a divorce a separation a breakup okay it could be with the gemini it could be with the taurus capricorn all right a libra moon but i'm getting that somebody here will be successful will be stable here yeah ending a dramatic uh a situation here from your past all right i'm getting somebody here could um have the first initial v or c all right i'm also getting vicky all right, I'm also getting Icky Vicky, so ain't that off of Fairly Odd Parents? I'm getting cartoons, like uh, Disney Channel cartoons here, Nickelodeon cartoons. Okay, this could have to do with Nickelodeon and Disney stars here. All right, or somebody could love watching Nickelodeon and Disney. Okay, you could be watching that with your kids or something. Yeah, I feel like somebody um, hasn't been communicating here. I feel like somebody is refusing to return to a situation here. I feel like somebody has moved away. Okay, I'm also getting somebody here. Um, I didn't even notice this right here. I feel like um, someone here, if, uh, if they're like Indian here, I feel like their twin flame could be in New York. Okay, so I feel like there is a, a Indian couple here, um, a, a masculine and a feminine energy. It could be reversed like a Taurus or a Libra or a Libra moon. Okay, I'm getting that, uh, like this is an Indian pair here that um, they're destined to be together here. I feel like uh, the male energy or the masculine energy is a musician, okay, and the woman is a high priestess here. And I feel like uh, their families could have been trying to keep them apart here okay um possibly because of which side of, uh, of the land they live on i don't know one's in america one is in india okay um or one wants to you know uh, someone's family wants them to stay in india but um they you know the other wants to you know be with their partner and move to the u.s or something like that and do music and want i'm getting like a, a high priestess here and a, a musician here so this could be a twin flame pair okay that are uh, both of indian uh you know both from india or both have roots in india okay um and then i'm also getting here uh somebody here who's from mississippi or somebody who's from the country i feel like uh this person could be like a mixed race okay or uh like biracial i feel like this person could be white and black but uh or have like um a mixed parent and a white parent i feel like um your twin flame here is on the east coast here okay so someone from the south or mississippi okay so someone with a southern draw or someone who is from the south here they're uh their twin flame here is uh like a blonde who is like from the city okay i'm getting a city girl a leo okay so yeah i feel like somebody could be like a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll here so that's a twin flame pair as well so i'm getting something about pairs about twin flames here okay i feel like it's about twin flames moving uh to to come into union here 
Okay, yeah, I feel like there needed to be space between the connection for uh, many lifetimes here or, um, you know, in the past, because I feel like somebody needed, uh, both of you guys needed, um, you know, to, to find independence, to find, to have, uh, you know, to discover yourself and to be stable within yourself, all right, mentally, physically, um, spiritually, things like that, yeah, all right, this is big, I feel like this is big for your connection here. Okay, yeah, I feel like you guys are both realizing that's why you had no wish, wish fulfillment in the past because you guys both needed to be stable, okay, uh, within yourselves in order to come together here. And that means uh, if you guys needed to get out of contracts here that were uh, not wish fulfilling, I feel like you had to do that. Your person had to do that. Um, if you guys had to move locations, if you guys had to move across the country, across the states, across the damn rivers, uh, oceans, okay, I feel like... Um, a lot of uh, pairs are coming together realizing that, yes, you are going to have to make sacrifices here or you're going to continue to have no wish fulfillment here, okay? Um, I'm getting some of you guys were, uh, weren't in communication with your person or could there could have been uh, breaks in communication here between you and your person who was your complete happiness here. Yeah, this person is, okay? I feel like, but you, um, you haven't been able to communicate with them or you haven't been able to communicate with them a lot. Okay. Um, but I'm definitely getting, yeah, this person here, um, this person here loves you here. Yeah. They just needed to, uh, release some type of contract from their past here. Okay. But anyways, let's see what else is going on for the collective here. I'm getting uh, twins are being guided on what to do at this time on the earth here. Okay, so these could be twin flames or these could be like actual twins here. All right, um, you know, just um, like, you know, twin siblings. All right, yeah, a good investment. So I feel like um, someone here is um, being guided to start some type of investment here. I feel like something that you are uh, being inspired and motivated to do, do it, okay? I feel like this is a good investment for you. You planted the seeds. I feel like uh, you will reap the benefits from this here. Some of you guys, I'm getting YouTube. Um, some of you guys, I'm getting someone to have the first or last initial Y. I'm also getting this is something that you were uh, destined to do in your youth here. Okay, for some of you guys since you were seven. <clears throat> but I'm getting you could have been silenced. Okay. <clears throat> That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like you are seeing the truth here. All right. Um, some of you guys were being yo-yoed or you felt like you were, your career was getting yo-yoed, okay? Or your relationship with your twin flame was getting yo-yoed. I'm getting you are seeing the truth about this at this time, okay? Um, do not fall for the illusion because I'm getting that something here is a, is a good investment, all right? I'm getting that you will advance and you will move forward here. I'm definitely getting um, something on YouTube here. Yeah, I feel like somebody um, wants you to leave a situation here. Somebody wants you to emotionally withdraw but i'm getting uh yeah you will have a new beginning here i feel like uh some type of grief is being released here and you will have you do have a new beginning it's a good investment do it all right um yeah i feel like uh you know someone here is releasing uh being envious or competing with you all right um yeah i feel like it could be a woman but yeah i feel like uh some of you guys needed to move locations here okay yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, some of you guys had to release a dancer. Okay, yeah, lay a situation to rest here. So I'm getting that some of you guys uh, needed to release a dancer or um, release being a dancer or release somebody here who could have been um, like a, a one night stand or an immature fire sign, a Leo Aries Sag. I'm getting you needed to lay a situation to rest here with this person. Okay, um, because I feel like, uh, yeah, somebody was trying to get you to leave your calling or leave your destiny or leave your twin flame. And I'm getting, um, no, you have a new beginning with your twin flame. All right. Yeah. Make a wise choice because it will affect you spiritually. Somebody is trying to get you off your spiritual journey with your twin flame because they know that your choice depends on, um, you know, life or death here. So if you choose your twin flame or if you choose your spiritual journey, you're choosing life. If you don't, then you're choosing death. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like you are ending a cycle here with a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo. I'm also getting you're ending a cycle with um, with um, 
sex okay um you know being sexual or people sexualizing you using you for sex um you know and as well as ending sex and ending so one night stands you're ending a cycle with um you know people being flighty with you playing with your mind you're also getting uh you know leaving a situation here with your health okay that was negative for you you're also ending a cycle here with being greedy uh lustful okay gluttonous all right, glamorous. I'm also getting that you ended up, uh, you know, ending a cycle here with being prideful, with being stubborn, with being, um, you know, wanting to be in the limelight, wanting all the attention. I'm getting you've ended cycles in your life here that, um, you know, have brought you into union with your twin flame or with your true uh, destiny here. All right. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys are no longer envious or competitive because you realize it's not it's not dependent upon other people. It's dependent on on what I do on this earth to guide, you know, to guide this uh this world or this universe into a higher state of being. All right? It's not yeah, it's not about how others advance, it's about how you advance yourself on this earth. Okay? This is about your your twin flame journey is not about nobody else. It's about how you and your twin flame advance on this earth in your journey. Okay? you starting that business or you uh becoming you know whatever it is that you're destined to become that has nothing to do with anybody else's stats anybody else's credit uh you know their credits it don't have to do with anybody else's opinions it has to do with you and fulfilling yourself yes and your destiny yes okay yeah i feel like you are not making an unwise choice to choose what you know is a part of your destiny here yeah you're forming a good partnership a good alliance i'm also getting the trinity mother father and child all right so i'm getting some of you guys are destined to have a uh, um have children here with your divine counterpart whether somebody tries to stop it or not okay i'm getting b could be significant okay d could be some uh someone's first or last initial all right, S as well, T. Yeah, I feel like green eyed monsters here. There's haters around, but that's okay. You're still going to follow your path anyway. I feel like these people want to rush in and try to stop you and your person or try to stop you on your journey still. But you are meant to guide this earth, sharing whatever it is that you do here. Yeah, I feel like avoid conflict. You already know somebody's coming to start a fight, all right? Um, yeah, continue to go after your dreams, your aspirations. Go after it. It will be positive. The Most High is telling you, yes, go for it. Do it. Okay, yeah, you are no longer under the spells of, you know, these people or, or whatever was going on here. Your third eye is open. Yeah, you see who is going to bring conflict. You see which way to go. You have a great opportunity. Go after it. Okay, yeah, you will advance forward here. I feel like your third eye is open here that something from your past is not safe to go back towards. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like your third eye is telling you to speak up about this. Okay, that you are not going back towards things that are toxic for you okay people that only want a one night stand people that want to fight with you all the time you don't need to go back to that okay um yeah you guys are choosing a beautiful love a healthy love all right a healthy love for yourself as well as a companion um healthy love towards your children here you're you're leaving behind toxic things and toxic ways okay um yeah i feel like people want you to not protect yourself though they want to make love to you they want to use you for a one-night stand they want you to open up to them not protect yourself okay people people that want to come back in your life just to fight you they want you to not protect yourself they want you to open up okay so they can do the same thing no choose love choose yourself choose love of yourself choose love of your uh divine counterpart your true pair your soulmate whatever you want to call them here let love into your heart okay anything other than that all those all the, that fear okay or or those people that are stuck in fear let them go okay this is your career path i'm getting that this is a part of your uh your your purpose here your path some of you guys could be a, a life path eight okay or a ten i'm also getting three six or nine okay I just saw 333. Three, three. You guys are being divinely protected here. And I'm getting that 2. 2 is uh, being protected. You know, so I feel like your, your union here is being divinely protected. All right. Yeah. What I say? 333. Three, three. Okay. Yeah. Continue to have kind and loving thoughts. Okay. About yourself, about your connection. 
about moving forward on your journey. Some of you guys are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, I feel like somebody has a, an angelic presence, and I feel like you could have been dishonoring the connection here by uh, listening to, to haters here, okay, or by not moving, okay? Maybe you guys didn't want to move to America or, or leave America, whatever it is, but I'm getting that whatever you reap what you sow. So if you put in love towards this uh, relationship, this union, or yourself, you are going to reap the benefits of that, okay? But if you allow people to deter you and allow haters to, to block your destiny and, and to block, you know, to allow you to block your own destiny here, you're going to sow that as well. Okay. So yeah, I feel like some of you guys create something new here in America. If, if, if you move in here or you decided to live here, create something new. Yeah. I feel like, um, some of you guys, you could be Indian and your person is white and they're European or something like that. Okay, and you're supposed to be with somebody else who's Indian here. Okay, but the funny thing is, is the person who you think is white, they have uh, roots in India. Okay, so I'm getting a couple where um, a woman here could be, um, you know, she could look like she's from India, but the man looks like he's white or something like that, or he could be European, he look, he could be white, but come to find out, he take a DNA test, he got some Indian in his roots, okay? Look, the most high works in mysterious ways, y'all. All right, so I'm getting y'all is from the same tribe and y'all don't even know it because you looking at outer appearances or you looking at where this person, you know, came from. They came from America. They were born in America. So you don't think you don't even know that they Indian, too. You know what I'm saying? So look. Um, or, you know, you don't know that, uh, you from the South and, uh, and somebody else is from, you know, somebody's from the East and somebody's from the West coast here and come to find out both y'all was in, uh, you know, in, in the Carolinas together before in past lives or something like that. Both y'all was on the East or both y'all was on the West before. Okay. Um, both of you guys have roots from, you know, the East and the West. So yeah, I feel like this is the truth here. All right. Um, some of you guys are discovering the truth about life and death here. Okay. That no matter what you and your person are going to be connected even in life and in death here. Okay. I'm definitely getting uh, many past lives together with you and this person. I'm getting that now your connection is safe because you guys are both now thinking uh, positively here. All right. Yeah. I feel like you are doing a great job on your journey here. All right. I'm definitely getting, um, you guys chose life instead of death in this, uh, you know, um, this Sagittarius season, I feel like that is, uh, advancing your connection here. That's advancing you as a guide yourself and sharing your, uh, your talents, your dreams. I feel like that's advancing you forward on your journey, your spiritual journey, as well as your, uh, your twin flame journey. If that's what you are on, not everybody has a twin flame. Okay. Not everybody has like, you know, somebody that they're meant to be with, uh, to fulfill a destiny together. All right, I know everybody wants Twin Flame. I know everybody wants, you know, whatever. But some of us have it, some of us don't. Some of us have life partners. Some of us are meant to be single, okay? So let's take what resonates. All right, yeah, I'm definitely getting some of you guys. A magician here could be uh, envious and could be trying to stop something here um, to cause heartbreak, to get somebody stuck, you know, in a, um, a nine-to-five job or a customer service position here. But I'm getting here that... Um, Somebody has royal DNA here. Somebody is a king, okay? So, yeah, I feel like somebody is destined to um, to marry a king here. I'm also getting somebody could be uh, destined to be a lawyer, okay? Yeah, I feel like somebody could be studying uh, law. I'm also getting uh, somebody could be, like, a, a caregiver, okay? Um, I'm also getting, oh, yeah, somebody here could be, like, a trickster, okay? I feel like a producer that could have been a trickster that could have uh, been the cause of a lot of death and loss here. I feel like there is going to be an ending of a dramatic situation with this producer here. I feel like this person could end up in retail or trying to sell clothes or something. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's all for now, y'all. Till next time.